And while TUT Sports Complex where varsity sports football for ladies gets underway. And TUT in the opening match in the Twani Derby. Lead by one goal to nil courtesy of this lass, Rachel Sabati. So many attacks. 11 shots on top. Suddenly got a little bit of space because the fullback is out of uh, position there. Mahoa. Flailana. Well, can she create the opportunity herself? Well, she pulls it back to uh, to Sabati. Sabati can't orchestrate the opportunity. Makura. And the team shouldn't be afraid of each other, I believe. They're ready to take on um, um, each other as as a, as op as op at the Tawani University of Technology. Wonderful sporting facilities out there on the western side of uh, South Africa's capital city. Again, bursting through there is Sabati looking for Due. Sabati back to Raka Due. Full kick. I think uh, TUT were hoping for a corner. Uh, the uh, assistant referee points for a goal kick. The referee points to the corner. I think the referee will <laughs> have uh, the final so to adjust in time. Just Sabati. Why? Could it handle the ball very nice. Here they come again, an opportunity to get around the keeper, the first touch. He's too strong from Matiba. Just over 16 minutes gone, and the score remains good. Uh, but in survival mode here are the University of Pretoria Tux, and uh, yeah, second missed opportunity. Look, it was a good run for Matiba. She just poked the ball too much, and the keeper had already committed. Had she just pushed it a little bit, it would have been something different. But they Nice little touch through the middle, a chance for Sepati. Goes across to Mashil Wani. In that half and protect their half the best way that they can because TUT is bringing it to them. Sepati now suddenly from the left hand side and again it goes over the top of the strikers. Shilo and Madiba not able to uh, pick up the ball there for the Twan University of Technology. You know? Shilo, ball in the middle of the penalty area, the uh, behind the header which goes out. Uh, Nearly for a throw in on the corner flag. So Rachel Sabati with an opportunity on that occasion. This was a beautiful cross. All she had to do was just jump a little bit high and put it on the chest, control it. And UT do that touch defense. Now the players forward again. Another opportunity that goes wide of the target. It's another corner kick. That's 4 0 as far as corners are concerned for the Twani University of Technology. Lana once again getting involved off that left hand side. They feel to see her, she just tried it and tried to take the shot and it deflected, unfortunately it went up. Space available, now there's a great chance. Once again, the fullback, I beg your pardon, Mabatla, the centre back, gets in the way. And this one will eventually get into the back of the net. Keeper of her line, ball over the top. And finally, TUG draw first blood. Minute before half time. And it looks as if it's uh, Sepati who might have grabbed the opening goal of the match. Now Tux wanted to clear the ball there. Unfortunately, it just landed on, on Rachel Sebati and she had a very clear look at the keeper. And then she took that killer direct above the keeper. She was off the line and it beat, it beat the keeper. Well, the congratulations offered by her midfield, but finally... They fought enough. They've had a good, fair, a good, fair run in this tournament, and this is their chance to just keep the trophy in the city of Tony. They have had a, a great opportunity. No man's land and a big challenge there between Mapatle and Rakuvudi. The Sebati, Rakadue. Now look where Klailana suddenly finds herself. She's playing as an attacking midfielder. Comes striker just behind uh, the substitute, Salome Gekana. Will scramble at the back here. From the Pretoria East side. Now it's uh, tough out there in the middle of the park, and uh, she's done a lot of playmaking today. Rachel Sibati scored the opening goal in the 35th minute. There you can see Rachel Sibati had already won the ball. Unfortunately, the player from Tux just had to put her foot in there and block it. And Pretoria the Tux picked up by Tobajani. She can't hold, hold on for too long. Now there's an opportunity here for. Uh, Cannot wait for today's matchup as uh, two contrasting styles. Has a nice switch of play over. What well, the TWC is trying to do is to keep the ball with short little pass. An absolute technician on the ball. Barely have mentioned her in the opening 17 minutes of this game, Kevin. Dominance and the ball retention, the ball position from up to the University of Technology. Oh, swung in there. Shamir Walsh was of some sort. Seems to have recovered, judging by 
the quickness of how quickly she covered the ground there. Kept, kept, kept coming and coming. Detail from Sepati. Three, which was on a Friday last week. And Kevin, we spoke earlier about the contrast in the goal scoring feats of these two teams. One good turn. Gives it and goes, but Mukhalam Mutawa again, cutting a tired figure. She tries to fight back, loses out. Jenna Smith, we've hardly mentioned her pace, a 26 year old. Lovely turn from Sibati. Gives it. Time running away here from the University of the Western Cape. It all takes this one real good moment. Rachel Sabati now. Sabati up against Ostays and Ostays and slips. Pele quickly closes down. Shot comes out there. It was always fading away. Winning for a third time in a row. Do they get to, do they keep, get to keep the trophy? That's an opportunity there for TT. A touch taken far away. As Rachel Sipati was fouled in. A piece of action, but Refli Twala says, let's play on. It looked like she had been taken out there. Lovely little run towards the edge of the penalty area by uh, Rachel Sipati. But uh, it has been a situation over the course of the tournament. The 2-2 being a better side. Matiba there.